Good morning, good morning. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Um, I am Coco Hubbard, and this is going to be the week peak for October the 29th until November the 2nd. This is for my Libras. Let's go ahead and get it popping. All right, Libras, so for your circumstance and situation this week, the obstacle and test, oh, that's a lot. Let's try this again. If you get a lot of them again, I'm going to leave it. All right, well, you got one this time, see? Um, guidance and advice. Okay. Your focal point. Well, and the possible outcome. All right, let's get it started. So Libra, for your circumstance and situation, we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, first off, I heard let it go. I don't really know what that is about. I'm gonna clarify as I go along, of course. If you're new here, welcome. Um, if you're returning, thanks for coming back. Um, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, but yeah, if you're new here, then I always clarify as I feel like I need to. And I kind of do things my own way a little bit. Um, but yeah, so the three of pentacles in reverse. I feel like that something could be on a bit of shaky ground. Um, and I do feel like this is um, relationship related. It could also be something like a project or some type of business or something you're trying to start up with someone. That seems kind of shaky. But um, either way, the message for both that I got was like, let it go, which typically this means that the foundation is faulty um, or there could be too many people involved, too many opinions involved. Yeah, and there's too much potential for chaos or there is chaos right now or chaos is coming your way this week. Something may happen this week and it, it just turns you totally off to the situation and you could just be like you know what i'm just out of here like i don't want to do this anymore um i don't even know if you guys can even see okay here so this is what you got you got the five of swords with the three of pentacles in reverse as your circumstance and situation and I'm, I'm just feeling like it's just like something this week it's going to be the thing that like takes you over the top um it's going to be that thing that is just like I don't want to deal with this anymore. Let's see what the obstacle and test is. The moon. So you could be dealing with someone that's overly emotional. Um, or like you could just be too sensitive, like and really in tune. You could be intuitive for some of you or like really in tune with the energies and emotions of other people. And you could be dealing with someone who kind of tries to play detached at times uh, where they kind of flip flop between like seeming like they have emotion and they care and they have empathy and then being kind of cold and standoffish and detached or someone who is just overly emotional because usually the king of swords can be like no emotion but it's in reverse and then you have the moon so someone could be like overly emotional but trying to hide it or mask it or something like that um and this actually could be you Libra you could be feeling a lot of emotions about this situation about the fact that you know, you and this person, because um, now I'm picking up on like the whole love thing, about the fact that like you and this person can't seem to like get things on a, a firm like footing. Like um, you guys continually 
have to either like manipulate or lie to each other, play some type of game with one another, um, do like this tit for tat thing. Um, constantly trying to prove that you can trust each other or something like that. Like um, you will do something and they may question and you're like, well, you don't trust me? And they're like, yeah, of course. And then like they'll do something. Then you're like, uh, what? But, but how come? And then they're like, so you don't trust me? And you're like, no, I do, you know, but I don't feel like there's enough trust here. Um, I don't even feel like this could be for the storyline with you and the other individual. I don't feel like this is chaos. For the one where I did some type of partnership or business, this this house was always says chaos to me. Um, but for love, Libra, I'm feeling like someone is trying to have their emotions or maybe you and your partner, you guys are really overly emotional and you're trying to pretend that you're not and that's creating this tense um situation and really i guess turmoil it's just the way the turmoil is coming out it's not in its typical form the advice and guidance we have for you guys is the star in reverse and the devil card so some of you could have capricorn in your chart or you could be dealing with the capricorn but um Basically, the advice and guidance, I feel like, is don't hold on to a toxic situation um, or something that doesn't serve your higher good just because you thought that, you know, it would fulfill you in some way. Um, yeah, we have the two of cups at like that 50-50 angle, and then we have the eight of cups in reverse. So you're not leaving a situation because you, you're feeling like I'm not wrong. Like, this is really what's meant for me. This is really who I wanted and what I want. I'm not going to let it go, you know. If I put the cups at the right angle, if I look at them from the right angle, like look how he's saying, I think the cups. He's kind of praising them, like, yeah, stack them up. And he's like, yeah, you know, if I just really pray and meditate and contemplate, but it's in reverse. So it's like, you're not even doing that. You're just like, you're not hoping, you're not wishing. If you know you don't desire this anymore, I know for some of you, there may be this confusion on whether or not this is something that's meant to be, but if it has like a toxic um, foundation, if it has something that's really unhealthy within it, that just continually like crawls through the love, look at the snake like crawling around their arm, even though, you know, these are like Egyptian themed cards. So, but I'm just saying like, I feel like the serpent can sometimes rep represent sin um, or like the darkness and things like that, evil, sneaky behavior. And it's like you and this person, you meet 50-50 in some ways, but you also are taken aback by your behavior with one another. I don't even feel like I can blame one or the other more, Libra. I feel like it's both of you guys in some way kind of ignoring your intuitions, um, acting out of fear rather than emotion, trying to hide emotions, pretending that you know you don't have a fear of like trusting this person or them trusting you saying everything's okay and then like you know feeling a different way when you talk to other people or communicating about it differently with others like it's just a lot of distrust or discord all right and then your focal point libra we have the nine of swords in reverse and the lovers and the knight of swords so I feel like during this week, your main thing is to not stress out. You're like, no, what, no matter what happens between she and I or he and I, I'm not going to let it stress me. I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm going to take this off of my mind. I'm not going to be up late at night thinking about it. I don't care. I don't care. That's what I heard. Like, I don't care. I don't care. Like, so you're kind of trying to convince yourself you don't care, trying to convince yourself it doesn't matter. But then we also have your focal point being the lovers and the knight of swords. So it's like, but then you have those moments where you can't fight it and you feel this intense, like loving energy. Um, especially I feel like when you think about this person, I feel like some of you may be having this thing where if you think of them, um, you may get a chill or um, like, a, I can't describe it, like a, like a little shiver or something like that. Um, like this person really affects you and you want to communicate with them really bad. Maybe you guys aren't speaking, um, which makes sense because everyone's back is turned in this Five of Swords card, um, even though the main you know, person is looking back at the other person, um, who, if you look really closely, has a cup of love. 
Um, but they're not. They're not interacting with one another. Um, one is maybe just holding his cup up, like, um, looks like he's kind of praying to the gods, like, fill my cup with love. And I feel like that could be your partner, like, wanting some love to come into their life, but not expressing that. And then we have you seeing them wanting that, knowing you want to give that to them, and not expressing it either. You just, hold, you're biting your tongue, you're holding your sword. You're not cutting this off, you're not speaking up, you're just biting your tongue and holding your sword. And then your focal point, though, is to talk. So let's see what the outcome is. The Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles. So Libra, I feel like somehow you convinced yourself that, um, I mean, you don't need to say anything. You know, you, you, get, you have this boost in confidence by the end of the week. Um, let's see what... Yeah, okay, because this person doesn't walk away either. I don't think either of you walk away. Uh, maybe they admit that they've just been isolating themselves, or you just know somehow. Um, but ne neither of you really walk away. By the end of the week, I feel like there's a bit of isolation. Maybe, you know, silence, thinking, contemplating, or something like that. But it doesn't, it doesn't affect you. Because I feel like you've really built this wall up for yourself. Yeah, and I think you've really been telling yourself, like, I'm fine. I'm okay. It doesn't matter. I don't need this. Even though you don't even want... <laughs> the Seven of Cups is in reverse. So it's like you don't even want other people. You don't even want options. You or your partner. I don't think you guys even really are checking for anybody else. Like, you're just checking for each other. But at the same time, you're not admitting the, admitting the emotion. Because I think somehow you both probably convinced yourselves that this is not destined or you don't need this um, connection in your life. For some of you, there could be a fire sign involved. Um, definitely a Libra. I mean, I said Libra. Sorry, Libra. <laughs> definitely a Libra. Leo. But um, Leo, Aries, or Sag. Um, this person could be adding to the stress in your life. And they could also be a part of this third party situation. I don't know if it's on your end or maybe the cross watcher's end, so maybe your partner's end. Um, but you're wanting to bring death to that situation. I feel like you're wanting to end that situation because you feel like this person whom you're trying to play tough, you know, hard to get around, is actually your like true love or soulmate. Um, this person gets you, you feel like, more so than whomever this queen of staffs is. But I think this Queen of Staffs is kind of blindsided. They don't even know that you feel that way. Um, I do feel like they're a little full of themselves or they're a little sure that this is going to last for a long time. The reason you haven't gone in to communicate, and I feel like also the reason that your partner hasn't come in to communicate is because we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. You both want to be sure that you are the happiest you can be in life. You both kind of want to make sure that you make the right decision. So I'm feeling like you both are kind of like trying to still weigh out the pros and cons, you know, analyze things, be logical, watch out for things. Like I said, someone could have Capricorn in their chart. It seems very um, meticulous and planned out. Like no one wants to speak out of turn or, you know, take the wrong action, offend one another. Everything is very, very carefully planned, um, Libra. Who are you dealing with? All right, let's look around the board. So we have some Scorpio energy. We have Capricorn energy. We have Aquarius energy. We have Pisces energy. And of course we have, uh, Could we deal with another Libra? And then I feel like Virgo. But by the end of the week, you're feeling good, even though you're isolated, I think, from this person. You guys aren't really speaking much, or you guys are like maybe starting to speak, but not really like see each other. Somehow, I feel like you guys start to avoid one another, or you're in this like, not wanting to make an offer thing to each other, but wanting each other type of thing. So you're just both biting your tongue. There's something weird going on here, okay, Libra? Um, but you're confident and neither one of you are moving away. I feel like the eight of staffs 
it's not just you, Libra. I feel like neither you nor your partner is moving away. So there you go. Um, all right, so this has been the week peak for October 29th to November 2nd. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I am Coco Hummingbird. If you did not remember when I first sang it in the video beginning, it says that backwards, in the beginning of the video. <laughs> um, if you're new here, thank you for tuning in. Go ahead and hit that button. If you are returning or already a subscriber, thank you guys so much. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing week despite this little funky vibe you're in. Remember, if you feel like it doesn't suit you, if you feel like it's too toxic or anything like that, just move away from it, Libra. And if you feel like you can't move away from it because I do see this death with the lovers and you, I feel like you're wanting to kind of transform something and remove something. Maybe you know your partner has someone else and you're wanting them to cut that person off. Whatever it is, like, um, if it doesn't serve you or you feel like it isn't for your highest good or it won't work out, you're wasting your time, then move along. That's your advice, okay? But if you feel like you really love this person and you guys just really need to, you know, find the sunshine, find the light, find the peace between you guys, the equal equilibrium, the balance. Because I don't think anybody wants to move away. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse and we have the Eight of Sass in reverse. So the movement is not happening. No, you guys aren't, like, moving forward. You're not moving back. You're just standing where you are basically waiting for one another to do something say something show something and but at the same time you're not breaking up so it's like if you're not breaking up but you're not hoping for this what are you doing you know like what are you doing i may literally call this like what are you doing because i don't know like let me know what you guys are doing in the comments because i from this it's like you're playing a game with each other but there is the two of cups there and it did not come out in reverse or upright. It came out half and half. For me, that is usually when you guys are like on the fence trying to decide about something or um, like a group of you are, you know, have met your soulmate or are actually in love with this person and another group of you are kind of thinking you have, but it's like a false soulmate or false swim flame type of thing. Like it's not really what you think. That's why it's you to the side. But I feel like for a lot of you, it's just one of those things where you're trying to decide. Like you're 50-50. You're trying to decide. Like you feel like it is, but you feel like it isn't. So I don't know. I wish you guys the best. Have a great week. Um, if you have any questions you want to share your story, I can be reached at CocoReadings at gmail.com. I may put it on the screen, but it's definitely in the description box. It's always down below. Um, thank you guys for being here. Okay. I wish you guys the best. Love and air hugs. Bye.